Hello, I decided I wanted to dig some swales and so I need to make some contour lines, you know, find the level on the land. So to that end I built an A-frame uh, level device and so let's have a look. This is it. It's all made out of PVC construction. This is all one inch PVC uh, piping and, and adapters. And I have a cross member going here. It goes to a 45 joint to the other side over here. And then in the middle, I just took some wire and uh, attached a level. <coughs> so this uh, gives me a level indication of where we are on, as far as level. And then on the very bottom of it, I just put a wire. Uh, <clears throat> drilled a hole through here and I put a wire on the bottom so that that'll keep it from you know uh, splaying too far apart when I set it down. Seems to work pretty well. Uh, so with that I did go and mark the contours on my land. I, as you can see I have some lines laid out over there. These are my markers right here. I wanted to mark it and remove the uh, markers so that when I start plowing, I don't plow it up. Um, so to that end, I, uh, I got my weed eater here. It's a little weed eater with a tiller attachment. And so using this tiller attachment, I just set it down into on, on the line where I wanted to mark, make the mark and moved it sideways like that. And just go sideways and it made a nice little trench. Uh, so that's just an initial marker. I'm just using that to mark where it's going to go so I don't have to use paint. Alright, this is the second pass that I'm making. The first pass needed some adjustment on the plow, but that is really turning to dirt. You look at that, that plow, the way it's uh, grinding that stuff up. Oh, look at that. That's got to have at least a 12 inch depth there. I'm moving that dirt right over just, just the way I want it. You can see the uh, Swale here, it's digging. This is probably uh, oh, 10 inches deep right here. And I use the front end loader on my tractor to uh, basically scoop out and push the dirt over on this side. Um, and so now I'm going to set up with my tools and uh, basically dress up the sides. The swale is uh, dressed now, and uh, at least this side of it, I've done about half of it. And uh, this side over here, I wanted to take this and have a spillway over there. Here we are after swale construction. We've already got Jerusalem artichokes growing over there in big profusion. And you can see I keep uh, water inside the swale. Uh, at, and this is after it had been dressed up also. You can see I, I put wood chips all over the top of the swale to hold in moisture and uh, hold out weeds. Um, this section right here near the water, I didn't get mulch on there, so we've got weeds coming up like crazy over there. Just a few weeds here where I do have mulch. Uh, also, uh, the water I've been using to hydrate this with is, uh, see I've got some tomatoes over there. But this is basically just coming from my solar irrigation pump that I put in uh, last year. And uh, this thing I've got going to the these two swales to the swale and the other one over there and also a drip line it goes to my uh, vegetables on top of the swale and also to the grapevine right over here uh, in addition this corner uh, near the swale I've, I've converted it I've just had some uh, other plants growing in here in traditional rows